Hello, welcome. Take a moment, pause the video, read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. Okay, so there's a teacher who bought ice cream cones for each one of their students, and there are five vanilla, six chocolate, and three strawberry, and six butterscotch. So there are five plus six. Oops, I'm on my line tool here. Five plus six plus three plus six ice cream cones in this case. So that's 12 plus eight or 20 cones altogether. Now, if you have 20 distinct different things, there'll be 20 factorial ways of arranging them. But there are lots of repeats here. You know, if you have, say, a vanilla cone and a vanilla cone, for example, uh, let's do three vanilla cones, right? One, two, and three. You can start moving these vanilla cones around, right? Two, one, three, three, one, two, and then I should have this nicer. V two one three two one, and then one two three, and then what else did I miss? One, three two, and then two, three and one. And I'm gonna move this one because I don't like how it looks right now. I'm gonna move it up here just to get it nice and neat to have our six set up here. So there would be uh, six ways to set up these vanilla cones but really they're all the same aren't they right like if you have th all these cones it's just three vanilla cones in a row you wouldn't really know the difference unless of course there were differences that were noticeable so we have to assume these cones are essentially identical so there are th there would be three factorial ways that's six the six ways here but you want to divide it by what well all the ways that you can arrange three identical things which is divided by three factorial which would be one. There's only really one way here. To look at this, there are three vanilla cones in a row. So I guess uh, one thing is, that can be improved in this problem is that we can say all the cones are essentially identical, right? But the idea is that you're dividing by the number of ways you can arrange each of the identical things. And you can scale this up. This is a topic called distinguishable permutations. You can scale it up to this case and say, well, you've got 20 factorial ways to arrange all the things. And then five factorial of them will be identical. That's the vanilla. Another six factorial for chocolate. Another three factorial for strawberry. And another six factorial for butterscotch. And this will get us our answer, right? So there are some subtleties here. Like, why do we add them first before we think about the factorial, just, uh, the permutations here? Because they're all a big group. Why do we divide in individually by each of the uh, ways you can arrange the identical things? Because there are different amounts of identical things that we're arranging and dividing by. So we want to think more about that. And we, we can make lots of videos about this to understand it. Just be careful when you enter it on a calculator. Um, make sure when you do 20 factorial and you divide it by the denominator, put all these things in parentheses. Because if, if you just enter this, 20 factorial divided by... 5 factorial, so I see students do, then 6 factorial, 3 factorial, 6 factorial. Think about the way order of operations work. It would do this first, and then it would take that and multiply it by this here. That's, that's not what we want to do. We want to avoid that, right? This is incorrect. So make sure you have your parentheses, and you divide it by, I'm entering 5 factorial, sorry, I can't show my calculator on the screen right now, 6 factorial, 3 factorial, and six factorial, close it, boom, big number. Okay, so here, I'm gonna write the digits out first, and we'll see what number this is, six, five, one, eight, one, nine, one, six, eight, zero. And we've got, wow, six billion, five hundred eighteen million, one hundred ninety one thousand, six hundred and eighty. A lot of ways to arrange those identical ice cream cones, and that's taking into account that so many of them look identical to each other and dividing them out. So it's quite a big number. All right, I hope you enjoyed.